All right, I've got the new ice blade uh, effect added to the library. So I actually designed this for those of you who joined me last week on my live show, um, but I didn't have a chance to get it on the library. Um, so now it is on the library. So basically, um, it's there's two versions. I'm going to show them both. Uh, the first one is a force effect, and the idea behind an ice blade is you have a blade who's a normal running blade, and when you use your force effect, you're actually going to get it overtaken by a, basically freezing into ice, um, and it slowly creeps and takes over. It slows down whenever animation is on the blade. So this is the Death Star Blast in red. Um, as it freezes, you'll see the effect slow down. You'll see the freezing take effect. And then Brian Connor actually provided the force sound that you're going to hear, which is a freezing sound. Um, and the freezing sound is available on the library. Uh, and under the force boost section, if you click the question mark next to the drop down, um, in the description of the ice blade, there's going to be a link to get this force sound. Um, Brian was kind enough to include it uh, so everybody can use it. So if you want the sound effect for your font, um, it's on the library. Just click the question mark um, and then you can get it from there. Um, but so I'm going to do my force effect. I'm going to hear the force sound and I'm going to freeze this blade. And the blade's going to stay frozen. It's going to be an ice blade for 30 seconds. So here we go. And then it stays a frozen ice blade for 30 seconds. And then after the 30 seconds runs out, it's going to start to thaw and it's going to go back to its normal operation. And you can use the force effect as, as often as you want. Um, so I'm going to wait the 30 seconds for this to run out. And it should be coming. There we go. And then it's going to start to thaw back out, and you'll get your regular blade effect. And this will work with any of the blade effects, so I purposely chose ones with a lot of movement, so you can see the actual freezing take over. Um, and then this is on a flame blade, so this is going to be a fast flame, but I just wanted to show so you could do a fire and ice blade using the ice blade. Um, so. so we've got a fire blade. And then I'll do the force effect again. We'll get the 30 second freeze. And you'll see the flame slows down as that ice overtakes it. And then the ice, the ice is actually moving and then as it solidifies it becomes frozen. So you'll see a movement to the effect until it gets to the tip and it'll actually solidify. Um, and how I built it is actually on the live um, from last week. If you take a look, I believe it was episode four. Um, you can actually see how we built this effect. I've added a few tweaks to it just from uh, playing around with it. Um, but it's uh, up on the library, so you'll choose your main blade. Uh, then in the enhancement screen, you'll choose under force boost, there's going to be ice blade. Um, and then this is the effect. And then once it thaws back out, the fire will overtake it. got there's another version under the stab the summon and release effect so um, just swing on so this is going to be uh, this is the unstable rage uh, again the ones with a lot of animation look better with freeze because you've got all this movement and as the freeze overtakes it the ice overtakes it it'll actually slow that down and that's built into the effect um, so this one instead of using force effect you can also do this as a stab effect so oops. I didn't. Oh, I'm in battle mode. I forgot about battle mode. Now, there we go. I was in battle mode. And battle mode stab gets deactivated. So that's the ice effect using stab. And then it takes over, and the whole blade again is made of ice. So you can choose either the force effect or the stab version. Uh, you can technically have them both if you want. Um, same thing in the stab effect, if you click the question mark next to the drop down, you can choose to get that, that stab sound that Brian created. Um, and the stab and the, the force effect are the same, so they both run for 30 seconds. But then it'll, after 30 seconds, it'll run its course. And then it'll thaw back out. So this is now up on the library. These are enhancements, so you'll choose them either the force boost enhancement or the stab. Uh, which is the summon release, and now you can add those to your blade. So, hope you enjoy.